So today I will talk about Modbus, the Modbus registers, the emitter, how we do the wiring, and the connection diagram for the meters and how we do networking of these meters. So first of all, this meter is from Eastron. The model number is SDM230 slash 2T. So on the top, you have the incoming power that is uh, live. And on the bottom here, you have the neutral wire, which is here, the black one. And this one is going in and this one is going out. For the communication, you have two wires, that is the red and the black. And this is the 485 mode bus, A plus and the B plus. So by connecting these two wires, we can have the communication from a device to a master device. That is, a master can be a SCADA or an HMI. So I will just scroll across the window to show you the different parameters. So this is a baud rate. The speed of the communication so here you have the voltage the mains voltage this is the power i will just decrease the load so that you can see so you can see the current has decreased and then you have uh, the power i will just increase it again VO, VA. And this is a power factor. And then you have the frequency. For communication with this device, I'm going to use a 485 module, which is here. So this is typically how a mood bus master talks to a slave. So each slave has an address, as you can see here, one, slave two, and slave X. I mean, it can continue up to 254. So the master will send a request. A request can be, okay, let's say this one is a temperature sensor. Okay, this one is a temperature. Temperature. This one can be a flow sensor and this one can be a level sensor. So let's say the master, this one can be a PLC. The master will ask slave one, what is the temperature? So the slave will reply. And one thing is that only the master can send a request. So the master will so the master will request each slave data at a time using these addresses. So if he want to if it if it wants to address to slave one, it just addresses slave one. And this goes like this. So he can address it can address flow sensor two. And also this one, which will be slave. What's Modbus? Modbus is typically a register. This is a register. It's like a memory, memory location. You have a coil. Coil is on the 0x memory location. And we have 1x for discrete inputs. And these two are for float values float values these two this we can use to indicate temperature voltage this can be voltage from a meter and here this one is used let's say we have a VFD we want to increase the speed so we must write a value to the VFD so these registers we can read and write to change values but where well, this one we can only read read is for example a level sensor so we only read because it will just give a value of the process. So this is a wiring of the meter to the USB device. In fact, this USB device is very cheap. 
you can see on AliExpress. You just type USB 2485, that is USB 2485. Then it will link you to several types of USB 2485 device. But as you can see, this one is very cheap, about $1 for the device. So now I will show you the connection. So on the USB device, you have two terminals, that is A and B. So on this connection, you connect A to A of this meter and B to B of the meter. So you have to do the wiring as per your model. So how to wire it if you have multiple meters? So you just give address to the different meters, address 1, 2, and 3. Then you connect the wires in parallel, that is B with B, A with A, and you continue the loop. And so this is the limitation of the 485 device, that is 32 devices, up to 1,200 meters. For Modbus, to read it, you should refer to the Modbus data sheet. For this meter, this is the mode bus registers. So to know the voltage, we should refer to 30,001. For the current, 13,007. For the power factor, you should go to register 30,031. For the frequency, you should go to 30,071. And for the total accumulated kilowatt hour, you should go to register 30,343. Based on this register, you will be able to read the various parameters such as amps, voltage, watt, the frequency. But how to read this value? So to read this value, we, we use a tool which is from mode scan. For the connection, I will be using a USB connection. So you should ensure that in your when you have plugged in your device, you should be able to recognize your USB device which is here. So for my device, it's USB. So we have CH340, the USB driver, and it's connected on the COM port 6. You come here on the Modbus. So I just give you, in fact, what tool I'm using. It's Modbus data scanner. So now we make a connection to the device. So we click connect. Right now you have different possibilities. So you go to COM6. You set the baud rate, which I have already set on the device. Now, 9600 that is a baud rate, the word length, the parity, and the stop bits. So these parameters should be set also on the device that is a meter. You click OK, but you will see there is no connection. Why? Because on this device I have given the address number 2. So we just put the address number 2. And right now you can already see that I can read some parameters. To read the voltage current, we should go to the input registers. So right now you can see that the voltage which is here, 235 actually. So as I said you, we have to refer to the mode bus registers data sheet. So for the voltage 30,001, you can see the voltage. I will just bring it back. So this is the voltage. And now for the current, so we should go to register 13,007. So we go to register 7. So you can see the current which is here 0 0.155. So for the power, we should go to register 13. So here you will have the power. So register 13. In fact, you will see that address 1 is being used and address 2. But why on the other address you don't have anything? This is why. Because in fact, to display this voltage, it's using two registers. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, you should also the flow type because if you don't select the flow type, the voltage won't be displayed properly because you see, you will have value in exa. So, float, what will happen? It will take two registers, address 1 and address 2. So, for the frequency, 30,071 here. So, here is the frequency. So, this is how we, we make a quick mode bus communication between a device that is a slave and a master. In fact, my PC is acting as a master and this device is acting as a slave. So using this tool that is Modbus Scanner, we can talk to the device or we can change the address. So for here, we can also change address. So we go to this one. To set up the connection, we, we need two or more settings. 
first of all we should give an address the address is between 1 to 247 in my case I have put address number 2 so we go to check address 21 so address 21 you can see address number 2 and device ID is number 2 so I'm using this address to talk to this device and the other thing that we should select is the speed 9600 so it should be number 2 so this one goes on address 29 so here so this is how we make a connection with a master and a slave device I hope using this short tutorial you have been able to see how I have made a connection between a master that is my PC and a slave device and using this connection you can have several meters which you have just to change the address this is how in fact SCADA talks to a an OTU so we have different address on the OTU and the master which is a SCADA so thank you